It's Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas. 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 Happy Vlogmas. <laughs> that every time yes guys <laughs> you. today is the day that i show you guys how i keep up with what i'm eating and trying to stay ahead of what do you call it like holiday food and making sure that i don't eat too bad and then, i'm not gonna front you guys see i eat bad here and there um i probably eat bad probably sometimes more than I eat good depending upon the week it is what it is it's a lot but what I will say is it's great when you are purposefully trying to do better you can only do better as much as you let yourself it helps me do better with my eating is by meal prepping meal prepping keeps me pretty much on track if I see food in there and I know like okay I don't want it to go bad because I definitely don't like wasting food I'm like oh I got a dinner in there oh I got a lunch in there oh I got a protein in there a salad with it or whatever have you basically today's video I'm just going to be showing you guys how I meal prep um what my thoughts are when I am meal prepping and how I count my days to make sure that I have enough food. Basically, iron everything out for me and for babe. We don't eat a lot of the same vegetables, so that is something that I do have to take into account. Let's just jump into what I'm gonna be meal prepping. So, y'all ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I am actually going to season this chicken and just separate it so that way it is easier to, um, get out the freezer when it comes time to cook it the thing that i like to do is i like to separate certain things and if i want like a different flavor or something i will section it off go ahead and season one portion one flavor and then section the other side and season that side a different flavor and i put them in ziploc bags and put them into the freezer that makes life a whole lot easier getting um what flavor it is on the bag so that way when i go in the freezer i know which flavor i am grabbing we have a big bag of kale i personally don't eat kale but bay does so i'm gonna go ahead and cook that up then i have some salmon i get this from aldi they have really great produce this chicken actually came from there too um produce and chicken and meats and all that good jazz. So I'm actually going to split this maybe into one, two, three. Maybe three because this portion is a little bit thinner. But I can definitely get like two pieces out of this. I don't really eat as much as I used to. So as long as I have like a good portion, I'll be good to go for that. That's going to be just for my salads for lunch. We have ground turkey. I'm going to go ahead and cook this up and that'll be my protein for dinner and then i have veggies which is my zucchini and squash and i'm gonna go ahead and cook that this will be dinner for the week my veggies for the week and then her kale will be her veggie with the ground turkey i'm gonna go ahead and cook all this up and let you guys see the process So as that cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and separate this chicken and get it going. 
Okay, for one uh, portion of chicken, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this mm, this all-purpose seasoning. We'll try this out. We uh, purchased it from a black-owned business. We really like to try and season it on a plate first, and then I'll season it in the bag as well. But I do it on the plate first to make sure that each side is getting enough seasoning. So I have my baggie. I like to put a little oil in there too. Just put a little bit and we'll go ahead and toss these guys in there. And I'm gonna put some more seasoning. Just make sure it's all coated. And you wanna just make sure all the air is out before you seal it. Now for the second set of chicken, I think I want to do like a Cajun honey type deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and season it with some cage, some um, cayenne pepper, a little Italian seasoning. I just like experimenting with things. So some black pepper, a little garlic powder, onion powder. Put these over, season it the same exact way. The ingredient to this is gonna be honey. I'm gonna put the honey all throughout the bag. And now these just go in the freezer. And now these are good to go and I get ready to cook them next week. I already have some, a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil and some butter underneath. I'm going to go in with this veggie lover seasoning. Of course, it's from that same black owned business that I showed you guys with the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on top. Did not clean my pan because I wanted to get some of those drippings from the ground turkey onto my veggies. So we're just gonna go ahead and let this cook. I like for my veggies to have a little bit of a crunch, um, not to be too soft, so this won't have to cook for too long. So as her kale finishes cooking down, I'm gonna go ahead, slice this, put it on some foil, and then season it. The oven is preheating. Okay, so salmon doesn't take long to cook. As you can see, this one is done. I'm sure the others are done. I'm just gonna uh, let this cool off like this, and then I'll go ahead and put it in the fridge, and whenever I'm ready to make my salads for lunch, I'll go ahead, put this on a plate, warm it up, and put it on my salad. Easy peasy. Well, guys, I think this is the end of my meal prepping box vlog my meal prepping vlog for you guys trying to help you guys stay healthy during the holiday season 
it's not easy but it is doable if you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you have any tips for me or any type of uh, meal prepping that you like doing give me some combinations or something down below also don't forget to share with a friend and we are out on this vlog miss day later guys